Hello, merging tutorial. First things first, always get backups of the mods you're going to do. Put them in a folder so you don't accidentally edit them, and then leave them alone until the job is done. Next, install your mods. Make sure that each mod works individually first. After you turn each mod on, run the game. This is part of repetition. You have to do this to make sure that you catch the bugs early. Copy and paste everything. Before you start anything else, make sure that they all work by themselves first. As you can see here, this mod doesn't work by itself. It's probably just a git mod edit that needs to be done. But if you had not caught this early, you might have done a lot of things and you'd be scratching your head over what was causing the issue. When testing, always go forward into the new game and get to this first scene because often you won't notice any bugs until you get to here. If you get to see a black screen over in this area, something is screwed up. Oh, not sure what happened here. Oh, right. That is why you repetitively test your stuff. Alright, now for step three. Simplify. Before we go ahead and do much about anything else, we're going to go into the mods and make sure that they don't have multiple overrides. Now this one, it has a lot of versions. They happen to be out of date, I think. So I'm just gonna delete them anyway. Also, if you're going to update the mod yourself, like Big Bag Cheater, now's the time to do it. About simplifying, if you happen to be merging the mini mighty mod of Doom, you go on here and you'll notice that it has two overrides. You want to go ahead and merge these overrides together. Don't forget the images. In the end, this will look like this. Instead of having two overrides, you'll just have one override folder. This makes it easier in the long run for you to manage future updates with other mods and merges. Again on simplifying, don't merge non-overrides. Keep those separate because that will allow you to update those a lot easier. Which you will learn how to do at the end of this video. Test after every tiny change. This will keep it simple. Because you will catch the bugs early. Alright, now it's time to get the mods working all together at once. Because you haven't merged them yet, they won't exactly work. But the point is, is to make sure that the game runs. Which it will do. As long as you make sure that you got the mod order correct. Now talk about mod order. A lot of document for this uh, does makes no mention of this because it doesn't always happen but it usually does especially the more mods you have when you have multiple overrides here like this zero is an override you want to have it dead last you want to put all mods that are not overrides up here and all overrides on the bottom because your game will break uh, not at the loading screen but when you go to the cryo lab you'll get a black screen allow me to demonstrate what it should look like, and then what will happen if you do it wrong. Oh, that's right, I can't do these two, so I'm going to do it separate. Uh, these two separate from each other, but we still do Big Bad Cheater.
I just see I accidentally put this in twice. Whoops. And then running that shows me that I forgot to update this. As well, you run after every change to catch the bugs early. As you can see, none of these emerge. And there's all sorts of conflicts there that you don't see going on. But the game still runs. This is important because when you start merging, they'll allow you to figure out when you've really screwed something up during the merging process. Now I will show you how it can go wrong if you have the mod order incorrect. See, this is one example. Other examples is when it'll let you see the skill selection, but you can't see the cryo lab. Here we are back to this. Now, it's important to keep these at the bottom because sometimes it won't even have a black screen if you have if you don't have it like this until you finish merging the documents, and then all of a sudden you have a black screen. I made this mistake once and thought I made an error and started it over. When it turns out, it was just this. I just saved myself a lot of time. Now it's time to merge. Merge one mod at a time. Don't try to merge three at a time. So go over here and start with the new overhaul mod. Because it's the bigger one. We're going to merge the smaller ones into the bigger one. This will make the job get done faster. We'll start with the fishing. Keep in mind when merging that not all modders might be as neat, as tidy as some of us. So when <clears throat> looking for an encounter, if you got another encounter immediately after, this one doesn't, but say you did, it might not always, no, encounter 43 might not always be after encounter 42. So just always use the search function just in case. The modder that you're merging into threw it in somewhere else. When they do have something that they already have in there that you can't just copy and paste over into, just to carefully align it so you can examine it better and observe what's different between yours, between the smaller one and the bigger one. And then copy and paste from here to there. Make sure that was the only change, if there are no other changes. Finally, delete the old one from the smaller mod. This way, you can keep track of where you're at. Now that that one piece is done, after every block of code that you do, save it, and then run the game to make sure that you didn't break anything. Don't just paste code anywhere. Keep it neat. When the mod you're merging to doesn't happen to have the block of code, it's the simplest job in the world because you could literally just copy and paste the entire thing over without having to go over it and make sure you didn't miss anything. But still, always run your game to make sure it's working. I personally prefer to put all of my edits 
in the very front because it makes it easier to spot them. As you can see, it all still works, but for some reason the fishing mod skill isn't showing up. I wonder why. Okay, I figured out why it wasn't working. I think I made this mistake, but I accidentally put the skill inside the trait selection list. Now that I have successfully merged the fishing mod with Neo Overhaul mod, it's time to wrap them up. That means just making it neat and pretty for everyone. Take this mod, put it in here. Since the override has been emptied out. There is no reason to keep the folder. So you just delete it. Then I'm going to gut out some of this stuff over here. I'm going to cut it, get to the root folder, and paste. Then get rid of this because now uh, that's essentially empty. Then I'm going to go to the git mods here. And since I merged the overrides, I don't have to add another one of these. But I do have to add the folder for the fishing mod. Make sure you name it the same thing that the fishing thing named itself. Which, thankfully, I have the backups because I forgot to look at it. This is case sensitive, by the way. As always, after every little change, run to make sure it's still working and that you didn't break anything. Now that's wrapped up, I'm going to go ahead and rinse and repeat uh, step. I'm going to go ahead and start merging Neo Overhaul mod with Big Bad Cheater. And that is the end of this tutorial.